Hey, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created an Ever After High dorm room for Justine Dancer and Ramona Badwolf. Ever since Ever After High released the episode Moonlight Mystery featuring Justine and Ramona's dorm room, I've been obsessed and inspired to create something like this. As always, I started with a blank white shelf. I chose this sparkling gold scrapbook paper for Justine's floor and this blush champagne colored scrapbook paper with gold polka dots for Justine's walls. I glued down her floor and then glued on her walls. To cover up the white space at the top and the bottom of the walls, I'm using this sparkling silver scrapbook paper and cutting them into one inch tall strips and gluing them at top and bottom. For Ramona's side, I'm using this dark blue felt for her floor and this dark blue scrapbook paper with gold brush strokes for her walls. Here I've glued everything in place, but just like with Justine's side, I need to cover up the top and bottom margins. And for that, I'm using this crafting tape. I like the roll of tape on the left because it looks like stone. I'm going to use this project tape to create a wooden floor that divides the room. And I'm gonna use this bag of plants by Art Minds to decorate Ramona's side of the room. So now we have everything covered and looking nice, but I do wanna create a little bit of a border between Justine's floor and the wooden floor. So I'm gonna use this golden sparkly trim or border. And now I think the room looks very neatly divided between Justine's side and Ramona's side and a common wood floor area. I like this nightstand that looks like a slab of stone on Ramona's side of the room. So I'm going to imitate that using these aquarium rocks. And I did hot glue on some of this green ground cover to look like some moss was growing on the rocks. I also like this tree trunk bookcase on Ramona's side of the room. And I'm going to imitate that with another aquarium accessory that looks like an open tree trunk. But the problem is if I just put this in the corner, it's not going to be quite tall enough. And if you recall, Ramona's tree trunk bookcase goes almost all the way to her ceiling. So I'm going to elevate it using a couple more aquarium rocks. And now it's the perfect height. To make a shelf for the books to rest on, I folded up a business card and covered it with wood grain project tape. And then I hot glued the shelf to the inner opening of the tree trunk so I could put books on it. And then I stole some books from the Ever After High library I made and shoved them in there to make it look like her tree trunk bookcase. Boy, I really hope her bed fits in between her nightstand and the bookcase. Ah, oh my gosh, it just barely perfectly fits. Next, I wanted to make a chandelier like Ramona has. So I bought some wood branch cutouts and painted them brown on both sides. And I scrounged around in my crafting drawers and found this wooden bead to which I am going to glue all of the wood branch cutouts and end up with something three-dimensional like this. And these are some LED fairy lights that are powered by batteries that I got off of Amazon. And you can flip them on with a switch and they light up like this. And I wound the fairy lights all throughout the branches. So when I flip the switch, it looks kind of like Ramona's chandelier. Well, hopefully. I added a little dream catcher pendant to the bottom and strung it through a bead so that I could attach it to the ceiling. I think it looks really pretty and I really like how it lights up the room. And then of course, I'm hiding the cord behind her rock nightstand. To make Justine a nightstand, I bought four of these ballerina wood shapes and painted them black and gold. I found this round wooden plaque and painted it gold and added Mod Podge for some shine. And then I hot glued the four ballerina wood shapes beneath the round table shape. But it seems a little bit unstable because there's nothing holding the two sides together. So I am going to take this used lollipop stick Yep, my daughter ate the lollipop part of it. Paint it black and use it to attach the two sides for some more stability. To make Justine a ballerina lamp, I bought ballerina wood shape cutouts and painted them pink. And then I wanted to add a little bit of gold to them to seem like they are wearing gold tutus. 
And with some crafting wire, I wound it around the ballerina's outstretched arms so that it could hold a little LED bulb like this one. I want to be able to change out the LED bulb whenever they run out. So it's easy to do that with this type of design. You just drop it in. This is a wooden doll pin base that I painted silver and added Mod Podge to. And for the lampshade, I'm using the bottom half of an Easter egg and painting it silver. And now all I have to do to put on the lampshade is just drop it on like that. On Justine's side of the room, she has a large poster of ballet shoes and some other framed pictures that are important to her. So I bought a ballet shoes postcard from Zazzle.com, as well as a postcard of the 12 princesses going through the forest as they're on their way to the Enchanted Castle to dance all night, as well as an actual postcard that says 12 dancing princesses. I mounted the postcard on some leftover gold scrapbook paper that I used for her floor and then I added the sparkly gold border that I also used on Justine's floor. And I did that as well with the 12 Dancing Princesses Going Through the Forest postcard. For this last postcard, I mounted it on the sparkly silver paper that I used for the borders of her walls, and then finally finished it off with the sparkling gold border. And now I'm just gluing it to her walls so that it looks nice. These are dollhouse windows from Hobby Lobby that I painted gold for Justine's side and brown for Ramona's side. Then I searched up Ever After High wallpaper on Google and found this and printed it out. Then I cut out the printed wallpaper into arch-shaped windows and I'm mounting them on cardstock. And now I've glued the scenes to the backs of the windows and they're ready to be attached to the walls. There's Justine's window, she's looking out at the gazebo, and there's Ramona's window. And to make curtain rods, I am using these wooden dowel rods and these round finial caps. And the top curtain rod is Ramona's and the bottom one is Justine's. For the actual curtains, I'm using these fabric remnants from Hobby Lobby. This gold is a dance knit that I thought was perfect for Justine. And this black and white gingham I thought was nice for Ramona. I hemmed all the sides with hot glue and now I just have to use hot glue to wind the fabric around the curtain rod and attach it there. I found these charms at Hobby Lobby. I'll use the wool for Ramona's curtain stay and I'll use both ballet shoes for Justine's curtain stay. So I'm hot gluing a blue bead to the howling wolf and then gluing that to the wall on the side of the window. And I'll gather the curtain using this Dreamcatcher pendant. And when I want to attach it to the wall, I just need to move it and hook it around the wolf. For Justine's side, I discovered that the space I had was not big enough for her curtain rod, so I had to cut it down quite a bit, as you can see. So she has a much narrower curtain. I'm hot gluing the two ballet shoes together and then hot gluing those to a bead so that I can attach that to the wall. And similarly, when I want to move the curtain to the side, I'll just take the black curtain sash and hook it around the ballet shoes. One more piece of furniture that I got for Justine was this little wooden chest. I painted it silver and gold, and as a final decorative touch, I added some of the sparkling gold trim border to it as well. And ta-da! Justine Dancer and Ramona Badwolf now have a dorm room at Ever After High. Please comment down below and let me know what you thought of this video and this room. And thank you so much for watching.